always seems to be a little bit on the Kerry side, I think. I'll try to keep it straight. There we go. Um, well, I've stepped away a little bit from the side because it's quite noisy today. We're chipping a lot of the brash from the trees that we've taken down. And uh, so the machinery is going. But hopefully you can hear what I'm going to talk about. Um, we have excavated onto or down the sides of the buildings to have a little look at the foundations to see what's underneath the structures themselves just to get a better understanding really of how um, we're going to tackle the engineering on the buildings. Um, obviously we're restoring, renovating, adding um, weight to them so we want to make sure that those buildings can withstand what we're going to do. Hopefully there is plenty of foundation underneath these bomb proof structures and um, we did that uh, recently with the archaeologist on site who documented and recorded everything that we uh, we we looked at. Um, they're still open as trenches so the engineer can look at them and um, make some decisions around the structure that we need to, to do or, or you know whether we need to do any additional structure. They're quite deep the foundations and um, they've got interesting form to them not really what you'd see nowadays as a, a foundation and that's really really interesting in itself. Um, so I'm going to do a little tour around and have a look at the different foundation types. Hopefully you can hear me with all the noise in the background. Um, but uh, yeah, interesting, interesting part of this whole process, especially working with existing buildings, is that you've got to understand fully the, uh, the, the you know, what, what's not just above ground, but also what's underground. So um, hopefully you'll enjoy this little video about foundations. Get geeky with us. <laughs> One thing that we have done this week is to dig some trenches to inspect the foundations and what's actually there. Uh, we had to have the archaeological guys on site to watch the dig, obviously. Um, and this is useful, obviously, as also for understanding what the actual, what's underneath the buildings, something that we can't really understand unless we do a physical inspection and this helps us to engineer the proposed structure and to make sure that anything that we're doing to the existing building will be suitable and uh, you know if we need any additional foundations or underpinning that we can ascertain that as well while uh, at early stages so we can cost all of that in so you can see here underneath the underneath the set house, standby set house, on the side that is the open side rather than where the storage tanks were. Um, there is some courses of brickwork and uh, quite a shallow foundation, probably about 500 mil deep. Um, <clears throat> there is a little bit of cracking in this side um, but we've kind of ascertained that underneath the main part of the set house which is the taller part there's quite a significant foundation and you can see that over here um, <clears throat> there's a bit of noise in the background from the chipper it's been heavily used at the moment and uh, so over here you can see well you can see a big pile of spoil actually from the dig and a lot of the local stone from the quarry we reckon was was spread all over this site so that's what this big pile of the lighter color stone is um, but you can see here like a really significant foundation underneath the larger taller part of the set house this appears to be concrete and uh, appears to be poured into like a pyramid shape which is quite unusual explain more about foundations uh, back at back at the desk um, but this looks to be in a a pyramid shape underneath the the structure itself we can just get in there a little bit um, you can see that there's concrete board and it's wider at the bottom it goes down 
maybe well I expect over a meter and this is this is uh, quite interesting it's quite interesting because it's not the kind of foundation you'd regularly see on site today and the archaeologist found it quite interesting because um, you don't usually get to to dig down under modern structures to actually or wartime structures to actually see what was was under there so that foundation sits under the taller part of the standby set house and the shallower foundation is underneath the smaller part which is over there so we'll go around now well actually inside the set house as Morgan shipping away inside the set house it's quite interesting as well where um, where the area that the tanks would have been stored is you can see that again there's quite a significant chunk and this would have all been to ensure that this uh, these buildings were bomb proof so in here there's quite a big slab of concrete underneath and uh, where, where the tanks would have been would have been stood on and um, so this was all part of the strategy of these buildings being very clearly appropriate for a bomb attack quite ambitious uh, graffiti down there somebody spent some time getting into uh, that little trench area which seems a bit pointless but there you go that's uh, that's the inside of the, the concrete slab of the set house and out here there is some more concrete slabs and areas that again are lesser in terms of structure I um, wonder if this was a sort of a blast wall some sort of protective wall out here for the um, for the set house itself you can see actually on this building as well as the DM the decontamination center that there was three courses of three courses of brickwork wide which is um, again built to be to withstand um, withstand a bomb and this is uh, this is going to be mum mum's house basically so We'll talk more about what, how the whole thing is, is proposed to be converted in another video. But just thought it was quite interesting to talk through the different foundation types that are on these buildings. So we'll pop over to the um, decontamination centre building now and we'll, we'll look at the foundations over there. So over here we've got the decontamination building and again we've dug out the foundations on this so that we can understand what we need to do in terms of any reinforcement underpinning um, but also calculating the overall loading of the proposed structure on these buildings again the uh, archaeologist was on site overseeing the dig and documenting it all which is is great so that we have a good record of what's here not just for engineering purposes but also for um, archaeological and historic records and uh, down here again we have a really deep um, foundation that appears to be very similar to the foundation on the set house quite triangular coming out pyramidally um, underneath casting concrete but you can also see how far down the, uh, the the render actually came and then follow it followed down by the engineering brick down onto the foundation so we expect that they actually excavated the whole site out and then backfilled so somehow we well we need to investigate a little bit more about how they actually formed these uh, pyramidal foundations um, underneath the the bomb proof buildings but what's interesting is how the um, 
the, the, the render went further down than the ground line but then obviously we've got engineering brick underneath and uh, hence why where the trees have grown at the sides of the buildings they haven't actually knocked it over um, because the foundation actually stopped it stopped it growing stopped the, the roots growing into the uh, into the foundations diverted them away so when you see these clumps of trees that are around and uh, some quite significant ones we reckon about 70 years old after counting the rings um, but they've not shifted this building at all neither building actually they've not they've not budged us so that's pretty cool um, another little trench here you can see a lot more of that spoil from the, the quarry that seems to be used as some kind of hardcore and again real deep nice uh, nice little trench here this one's even I think even deeper than the other two and really significant pyramid form on this foundation going right down into the ground I don't know if you can see it um, and appreciate fully how how deep it is but we reckon this one's over a meter and a half deep um, the site slopes as well, so the site goes from back there overall as you move down the building it, uh, it slopes down and you've got much higher end um, because the land drops away and uh, this might have something to do with the different levels of the foundation but we, we think that, uh, well, if it, if it had something to do with it then that end up there would have been deeper than this but it seems that this end again seems to be deeper although there is a change in level in the building come to think of it the um this end over here where the uh there, there used to be two chimneys well a snorkel pulling air into the decontamination center and on the other side a a, a chimney um and there is different levels so that might internally so that might have something to do with the different levels of the the foundation as well but um, again pretty significant levels of um, quarry spoil dug up don't want to dig too much into this ground to be honest there's an awful lot of stone in it um, which seems to have been put there during the, the construction of the buildings and uh, not really interested in doing too much significant digging because it's so difficult and obviously we have to dig out the proposed the foundations for the proposed buildings um, but it has made us think about the uh, the way that we're actually going to source energy for this building we had originally thought we'd go ground source but that means taking up significant areas of the field and uh, that might be a well that would be a subject for another another video where we want to talk about different types of alternative energy supplies and uh, what we've why we've made the decisions on this site that we have to provide energy water um, and uh, create a sort of off-grid opportunity to be fair to create as much off-grid um, solutions for for the running um, of this site so that'll be probably the next video that we'll talk about see you later this sketch section gives you an idea of what the build-up of the walls are there's the three layers of brickwork and um, that sits on top of a concrete pyramid form foundation that goes down really quite deep surrounded by hardcore and rubble um, internally we've got the concrete slab externally at the moment we have um, soil earth that's been built up over years you was a bright bright day.